Hey, welcome back. Country K back here and uh got something special today. Before I get to that, I just wanted to tell y'all. Me and James was supposed to be hanging out today, but uh don't think he was able to get me. But uh Yeah. You see that sneak peek? What like this? Oh, you see it that time? That was a sneak peek. But uh today I haven't had this that long. My buddy gave it to me yesterday. Uh I've had a pinch or two out of it. This wasn't that much in it. There's like a pinch or two left in it, but uh my buddy got it, and he gave it to me yesterday. He said, dude, I don't like this. I said, I'll take it. Just try it out and stuff, you know, make a video for it. And I tried it, and I realized, doesn't taste that good. My buddy, my buddy was right. Doesn't taste good at all. I mean, I like it a little bit. But it just, it's not that good to me. But anyways, stop with the chatter. I'm going to reveal this some bitch. Today we have the newest to come out in the dip world. Could you guess it? You probably guessed it right. Today we have Grizzly Dark Mint. Ooh, look at that reflection. God dang. Ooh, that's a pretty can right there. Look at that. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. That just makes you... That just makes you want to put one in right there, doesn't it? And when he gave it to me, you see me having a hard time opening it. When he gave it to me yesterday, the can was really hard to open for some reason. Like, it's not like I tried doing that and see it doesn't come off. I packed it. Just like that, just like that. And I realized I had to like really force it off, you know? Look at that. I didn't even pinch that that good. Blech. 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 Anyways, you can smell it. I mean, it's, it's good to an extent if you're a grizzly dipper, but, I mean, I'm a grizzly dipper, but, like, for the last couple months, Copenhagen's just been exciting me, and Stoker's, you know, still got, still got that Stoker's, that natural, <clears throat> but, uh, we'll put one of these in. Every time I freaking pack it, it doesn't pack well. It doesn't pack well. <sighs> Start packing, boy. What is up with this damn can? Anybody else have a hard time opening this damn can? Is it just me? But this thing is hard to get off for me. Like, the metal, the tin lid 
for me is hard to get off because like i don't know it's probably just this can because uh i can open 10 lids with one hand you know but apparently grizzly found a way not to make me do that so Look at that. First touch. The smell is ranky. It smells like shh. Smells like. Look at that. What the hell is that? See, I packed it good and it's still coming off on me. See, Grizzly. Grizzly's cut is like really fine cut. I don't like it. It's the only thing I like about Copenhagen. Is there's, well, the flavors out Duke Grizzly just a little bit, and their cut is way better, in my opinion. Some of y'all hmm, might have Grizzly in your heart, but Copenhagen in your mind. Some of y'all might have Copenhagen in your heart and Grizzly on your mind. Me, I'm just, give me dip, you know, just, I'll put anything in. Ready? One, two, three. Ugh. You know, this is the first grizzly can I've had and I don't know how long. What has it been? Holy crap. This is the first grizzly can I've had since I started. First time I dipped, my buddy Brandon gave me Stoker's Mint, and I loved that some bitch. Then the next day, he looked at me and said, ready to start with something new? I said, yeah, hands me a freaking Grizzly Wintergreen can. And that's the last time I have Grizzly. That's the last freaking time I had Grizzly. I mean. Ever since then, it's been Copenhagen, Stokers, anything but Grizzly, I guess. I don't... I haven't been thinking about Grizzly. And until the, they came out with the new Dark map. I never even thought of getting grizzly again. I don't know why, but I haven't. But, uh... As I said in the beginning, James was supposed to get me a day, but I guess he couldn't make it. As it talked to me, like always. I mean... Something's gotta give, you know? I'm not gonna tell him he can't come get me when his dad is uh, recovering from cancer, you know. That's just selfish. That's just rude. But, uh. I mean, this is. Look at this. I, I told you, uh. Grizzly's cut was real fine I'm gonna show you if y'all can see this this is a stokers I think it's long I 
That's on the top of my finger. That is Stoker's. Compared to Grizzly, Stoker's cut is way longer. Cause they're like, I said this before, they're like a chaw. They're more like a chaw than a dip. Take one pinch and the whole thing comes out and can't do nothing about it. But Guess I can get off here. Just remember. Grizzly. Not a big fan. But remember, I'll take one from Darcy. Mud Jug one. Copenhagen is king. For me the past couple Basically, since the month after I started, Copenhagen is just top of the game, man. Second, I think Grizzly would come in third for me, but I think Stoker's is better. Their mint is way better, in my opinion. Their wintergreen's good. Their uh, natural is delicious. And their straight, um, that I'd have to give to Copenhagen. Straight, I mean, it, it could be better, you know. But as y'all know, I'm not that good on straight, but. If, uh, if I ever do turn out to be like, if I turn out to like straight, I'd definitely give it to Copenhagen. So, uh, That would be like me and my buddies are talking about best five dips out there. I mean, Grizzly's one of them, but it's like third, in my opinion. Everyone said the exact same thing. Well, except for, uh, my buddy Trevor. I said Copenhagen's first, Stoker's second, Grizzly third, fourth would be uh what is it uh I can't remember. Dips got me buzzed, I can't remember shit. But anyways I'll let y'all go. Just remember, pack a dip in your lip and some chow in your jaw. And you better start your bi stop your bitching and start your bitching. Fucked it up. But anyways, see y'all next time.